colleagues. Uh, I'm Linda Wontle from CSVR. So I'll be talking briefly about um, on gender, sorry, gender equality and youth, like youth, youth perspective on gender equality. So uh, this will be based on our sexual and gender-based violence program project that we conducted in uh, eight communities last year, and now we are doing it provincially. So some of the things that came out when we were engaging those community people is that youth are excluded, um, even in decision-making resource distribution in the community. They are also experiencing unequal opportunities as well. Hence, there is a higher rate of unemployment to youth, which then make them a resort to substance abuse, crime, and um, youth also as well are also, um, they've lost hope and faith in the system because they feel like most of the things that are happening are systematically and youth are also exposed to many levels of violence because they are subjected to a lot of vulnerabilities. Um, and also there is also unequal representation of youth in managerial positions, political spaces, and even in the parliamentary seat. Another thing that also came out is that um, youth, again, are also not youth-led organizations, are also not supported in terms of funding and also even the trust, and even when it comes to empowerment. So uh, there's a need for uh, awareness and there's a need to, to also support them. And it's also a problem mostly to youth who are in rural areas because the opportunities are very limited, are very low, given that there is unequal uh, there's limited access to education, more especially to young women, where they end up dropping out of schools and it makes them, um, uh, it puts them at high risk of even getting um, HIV and AIDS because they end up resorting to unhealthy lifestyle and it also increases their chances. Like that is why we are having so high level of teenage pregnancy around our youth because of these vulnerabilities. And also, there's also a, an issue of hate crimes, which is also due to our patriarchal systems, because um, especially the LGBTQI community, the youth are also complaining that there is still some hatred towards them, and they are not being recognized or even acknowledged or even supported in the community. So they feel not much uh, safe. Uh, yeah, thank you very much.